one day, I'm just sitting there, right? Watching one of my favorite YouTube videos to a game that I currently do not own. Poor me. But anyways, back on topic. I said I wanted to go through the comment section or whatever, see what everyone else thinks of the game. While doing this, I came across a pretty, ra a rather interesting comment. The comment asks, did Mario die? Or why is his head on the table? Wait, what? Mario? Super Mario? Dead? Wait, nah, that's, that's preposterous. Or is it? Hmm. Well, Charmin Dringo G, I actually have a theory for that. <laughs> Ooh. All right. First off, we need proof. Why would Mario be dead? Hmm. It just doesn't click. It doesn't make sense at all. Why would Nintendo kill off their biggest mascot? It just doesn't seem to make sense, or does it? Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the Mario franchise, and if you're not, you live under a rock, I'll help you get, you know, caught up to date, up to speed. You're welcome. So it starts off with Bowser and his minions invading, turning all the toes into bricks and stones and plants and whatever. He kidnaps the princess like a boss. Mario finds out about this, eventually sets up an adventure to save the princess, and he duels with Bowser. Bowser eventually loses, you know, that's how the story goes, as always. Then they eventually fall for each other just to do the same things for the rest of their lives. Now, for those of you who don't believe that Mario and Peach are dating, let me help and clarify this for you. <coughs> Mr. TJ, cool guy, you. Now, it's pretty obvious that Mario and Peach are dating. I mean, in sports times, they hint at it. In Super Mario Galaxy, she's referred to as Mario's special one. In Super Mario 3D Land, she doesn't think of anyone but Mario, but... A lot of other people in the Mushroom Kingdom are capable of saving her. And then for some strange reason, she's always inviting Mario over for something. Even though something that clearly all her friends can come to, for some reason she only invites Mario. Like this vacation for example. I mean heck, when the man's sleeping she's freaking staring at him. It's sort of weird but it's true. And then towards the end they take pictures in front of the sunset. And then they take a picture together. Really? I mean, it's really obvious. And besides, if she invited her friends to do something, it would be more like this. She invites all of her friends to a friendly game of baseball at a very expensive island. Cause you know, she's a princess, she can do whatever she wants. And then the fun thing is, when they get off the ship, she doesn't talk to anyone but Mario. This guy. Ew. Still not convinced? Okay, how about this? Now some say she treats Mario and Luigi equally. And she's not in love with either one. She's just happy that they saved them. Then explain this to me. When Mario flies Peach to her castle, you see a gigantic heart fly out of nowhere. Right there. But then, when Luigi does it, they both fly to the castle, but no heart. At all. That must mean something, right? If I haven't convinced you yet, I don't know what to do. Now, earlier I mentioned that they hint at it in the sports title. Now, some of you guys think that sports titles aren't canon. However, Nintendo released an official video about Mario talking about Mario Sports Mix, and he talks about how he ties in his sports games with Princess Saving. And Princess Saving is part of the main timeline, which makes it canon. Now that I wasted a lot of your time, let's continue. Believe me, this is going to help out my theory a lot. Now, did you ever notice in the Luigi portion of Super Mario Galaxy, it's Luigi's job to save Peach? and Mario makes no appearance whatsoever. Now my first question would be, how did Luigi get on that planetoid? Well, how did Mario get on the planetoid? Oh yeah, Peach invited him. Now, why would Peach invite Luigi instead of Mario? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Like I said earlier, Mario is dead. But wait, Mario's still alive, he keeps releasing new titles, why would he be dead? Well, my conclusion is there's an alternate timeline, okay? In this alternate timeline, Luigi and Peach are dating instead of Mario and Peach. So naturally, she invited Luigi and pretty much Bowser ends up sending Luigi to space instead of sending Mario to space because there is no Mario to send to space. I mean, it makes total sense. Now, Luigi in the Galaxy titles, he isn't the same one as the Luigi in the main series. 
the one in the galaxy titles, he's more heroic, he's more brave, and he doesn't cower not one time. He meets up with the cowardly Luigi, which could possibly be our Luigi, but we don't know that for sure. Because think about it, canonically, in the first Mario game, Mario ends up saving Peach, and they begin dating. But, how would it end up with Luigi saving Peach and not Mario? Well, here's my conclusion. In Super Mario Bros, there's a multiplayer mode, right? Now, who's player 2 in Super Mario Bros? Luigi, how does player 2 get his chance to play? Well, let me put it to you like this. Player 1, which is Mario, has to die. He has to be dead, gone, you're not about to see this fat guy again. And that gives Luigi his chance to shine instead. So, this ends up in Luigi saves the princess first, and he has his crazy adventure with the princess instead of Mario having crazy adventure. But what about Daisy, you ask? I mean, wasn't she very important to Luigi? I thought her and Luigi were dating, right? Well, let me tell you this. In this universe, Luigi never met Daisy at all. But why? It's simple. Since Mario never made it past his first adventure, that means he can never proceed to further adventures, like the one he had deep in Seressa Land. That means Daisy could possibly be dead too because Mario was never there to save her in the first place so Luigi can meet her. It's pretty sad, but it's true, and Luigi never knew anything about it. That's the sadder part. So in conclusion, Luigi takes place in the universe where it's Luigi and Peach, and Daisy could possibly be dead. It's kind of sad, but it's sort of true at the same time. Now, in my opinion, I just think this is a nice little theory. I don't think it's 100% accurate or anything like that, but hey, just something nice to look at. I know myself that this theory has a few holes in it, so I don't know. You guys can debunk it if you want and shoot me down, or you can just let me have my little piece of joy. It doesn't matter. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for being so supportive by my last video. I really want to thank you. I've recovered and, you know, I've been doing better. School is over, so I'm glad about that. And I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my summer or whatever. So yeah, that's it for this. Hope you guys liked it. And yeah, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe.